6.51 in the morning. Uh, today is my last day. It's the last day of this road trip, but it's also my last day with my son before I say goodbye to him at college. I'm sure you can see what a big deal that is. In any event, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna vlog. I'm not gonna film my day with my kid today. I'm just gonna leave the cameras away so I can really focus on these last few hours with him. So I'll come back, I'll come back to you at the end of the day and I'll, I'll let you know how things went. Bathroom. I'm just packing up. He's taking me to the airport now. I'm leaving him here. Owen's mother, she's coming to San Francisco tonight to take him to orientation and all that. I drive him out here, she does that. You know, like we, we've got to be, you know, share the kid. I say goodbye tonight. Hello, I'm Owen, and I'm a student from Interdate Day Charter School. <laughs> the airport. I just said bye to the kid. Just like, said I'll see you in a few months. Oh, and how do you think the piano recital, violin okay. recital went? Good. And how would you judge your performance? Okay, I guess. Not great? Well, from five to ten, like six-ish. Six. I thought you did a good job. David Sedaris said that when you have a dog, like that dog's life represents like a chapter that bookends in your life. Like you always remember where you were for the life of that dog. I remember when I was a kid and I got a pet, it was a, it was a cat, but I remember I got this little kitten and then I remember it through its whole life and that was like a chapter in my life. And I just said goodbye to Owen, who's like, like that's the biggest chapter. It's the biggest chap. I remember when he was born. I remember who I was when he was born. I was like this sh high school dropout teenager whose my friend's parents didn't want them to hang out with me because I was a bad influence. I was this degenerate, this up with a baby. And now it's like, he's like this adult. And everybody's giving me this bullshit. Like, he's not gone. He's still your baby. That's bullshit. He is an adult now. He lives on his own. 3,000 miles away from me. Time for your second day of school. <laughs> Fifth grade. Oh, 
I'll be back tomorrow with more happy vlogs. You just have to bear with me. I, I hope you can understand. This is a tough, tough thing for me. I, I hope someday you get to experience something like this.